we're hopefully getting out and getting live. Beth is sitting here. Drake is taking his break. Obviously, we're starting the very next sitting. We'll do two pose or this pose, two that sittings, pose. right? Yep. And I'm not going to try to align this up because Drake is yeah, that won't Drake work. is quite <laughs> tall, and you're less tall than yeah, he. Yeah, he's like a foot and a half taller than. Yeah, so I'm going to shine on, and so we can kind of see where. He's got a general idea, so I'll put my hands up here, and then you can tell about where the top of his head's going to be. Oh, you know. Um, oh, I need to share. Actually, you you come here, and I'll sit down. Yep. I'm probably a little more his height. Yep. yep. And I want to share so everybody knows that we're back on. We're not going to, um, I don't know, how should, he, how should we have him sit this time? Should we have him sit, I mean this will be a, a different angle. Cameras on this side. Yeah, I mean you're going uh, so to... always going to have to be way yeah. close. I yep. know it was really close before. This, oh, it's on the carpet. I was going to say it's leaning. It's strange. Maybe that'll be. I'm just trying to line it up. This is going to be staring. Maybe we should move that light. Should we move the. Yes, but hang on one second if you want me to. Oh, yeah. Share it up. Share it, and I can do that. Everybody, hopefully, you're joining us again. We had a whole lot of people, 40-some artists drawing live in that first session. Imagine everybody sitting down together, 40 I people. I love it. And considering there's another 200 people that sign on, 250 people that sign on during the week, there's a whole lot of, whole lot of folks anyways. You don't need to see my legs. Okay. Sorry. We're gonna adjust, are we going to adjust lighting around a little bit? Bring right. that... I think we should bring that lighting over here as opposed to have it straightened into the face. Would you agree? Do you want this that over there? Yeah. Here. You can bring it around. And then bring that ring light over here, I'm assuming. Remember, here, I'll take off my glasses so you don't get that ring. And we'll get Drake in here in a few minutes. Yeah. We're going to have Drake sit down and we'll align up. We're going to start drawing this second. Are we going to, so he was facing more, are you going to have him looking that way, do you think? Well, that's how I had the chair facing. I'm just yeah. saying, do we want him looking into, no, we probably, well, no, maybe we should ask Tim. Him. Yeah, we're going to move it over so we can get some more defined shadows. Maybe take it up. One. Like in here. So we're doing another angled shot, yeah. you're saying? Different angle. Yeah. Okay. And it's gonna be a stronger angle, so it's gonna be as, as straight on. As low. Hmm? As low. It's not gonna be as low and it's gonna be from a, a greater angle. I mean you were actually sit down, Drake. You don't have to focus. Focus, just Other air, please. I wasn't sure if this is the angle you're doing. Yeah. Are you going to focus close? Did you want to uh, focus to whatever you want me to focus on? I, I, did, I did think you want to put that to be as. Yeah, you don't want me looking at something close. You can pull that back further if you want. I mean, I'm not really care. Hello? Hey. Okay. Yeah, what we did is is this this sitting we we've, we've taken that camera up quite a bit. Drake's tall, and so we're gonna have more of a, a straight on. Um, and we'll make sure that we don't lose the top of his head either. Okay. Gotcha, gotcha. Yeah, this 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 one. What we'll do is we're gonna have him. Uh, we're gonna start drawing at nine o'clock, so it's uh, eight fifty six right. Or eight fifty six right now. We're gonna pose him in and get a good uh, a good look at him. 
All right. Thanks. Bye. Where you're looking right now is it? It's weird because what we see on the camera is not what we see on the computer. Yeah, it's totally different. Really? Yeah. That doesn't make any sense. Isn't the stream going from that? Mm -hmm. Yeah, but the framing is a little different, and, and it doesn't make sense to me. Mobile to laptop. How does that look, Beth? Well, you're, you're delayed, so... Gotta fix that shadow. That there. All right, guys, we're we're just putting the finishing touches. We're we're losing too much of that that back eye. We're gonna have to turn, we're gonna have to move the camera. Yeah, I would move the bit. camera over yeah. a little bit, not him. All right, guys, we're just kind of sitting up here. Again, I will reiterate, I had no idea we'll how much your, work it was out. getting a model set. Yeah. I mean, is, wherever, I just wanted to... Is this my cord? It is. Okay. As we're sitting him, mm -hmm. and then we're kind of coming back and looking at the laptop is, yeah. is the... That looks good. Yep. Please feel free to give us any uh, comments or suggestions, but I think we are um, in a good place. I, th I think we need a little bit more of that light. Would that create or put it over here? I'm not sure what you're asking. The little light back over here to create some more shadow. Would that? I don't know. We want to be too harsh. Is that too much? Shadow then. Looking at that, what's behind his head? Yeah, oh, that's true. I mean, it is much brighter there than it is there. You're probably right. And guys, I know that you're probably hoping that we could move that camera in. That camera is in his lap. <laughs> no. That's about as close no as we can There's no way we can get, get that thing closer. Yep. Do you want to make it a little bit just like a lower yeah. to reduce the gap there? Not much. Just about ready. We've got one more minute and we'll be hitting the timer. Did you say, again. Did you say seven? I did. Okay. We may be close to. Getting back on, we see 10 more people jumping in. Yep. I gotta bring it down even just to hear more, huh? It's weird because look at how it looks on the, on the phone know. and then you see where it looks here. I'm gonna drop it down just to hear more. Not yeah, just a teens. Is teens a word? It is now. I know what you mean. Is it a little close? Oh. I thought it was like on the stream. Well, that's weird because on. Is it super close? It's super close on my screen. Does it. I'm not sure if it's like cropped weird or something, but. That's strange. I'm watching it just like that. <laughs> so, just your head. Yeah, that's awkward. <laughs> that's really bad. <laughs> so if you're wa looking on your phone, apparently it totally chops straight oh. off of the. Oh. Hey! It just fixed itself, so. Oh. Oh, now it fixed itself back. What yeah, Facebook's the, the worst streaming server. Yeah, realize that is likely. Yeah. All right, Drake. Uh, so if you see it chopped off at the at the head, that's we're we're thinking that's Facebook that's and perhaps. That's good. Yeah. So Facebook might be doing something on a mobile device, so maybe an like a tablet or a phone. All right, let's uh, Drake, go ahead and find uh, a spot. I haven't that's moved. Good to Are know. you good? Yeah. Am I good? You yeah. look, you look okay. good. You look, you look, look good. Terrific. All right. You look absolutely terrific. All right, guys, we're going to go ahead and start this next session. Best start the timer. We wish uh, we could get in a little Seconds. closer to you. Okay. To Drake. Uh, timer started. Paula.
Love it. Mm-hmm. Looks good. Wow. Hello. We did. It's nine oh one. Yeah, it's it's been just about fifteen minutes. We the the camera tripod is right up against the foot of the chair. Uh, I don't. I can ask Roger if he can do that. I don't know that his. I mean, again, this is on his phone, so I don't know what that would do. Um, but I can have I can have him try to do that. Absolutely. Okay. okay. All right. I'll ask him. He he said, "Can you zoom a little bit closer?" Too far down. Up. I mean, you can move the camera even closer. And... As close as we can go, touching yeah. the chair. I think we got it as close as we can get. Well, we moved, he moved the tripod. It's touching the chair. Is it? It's about a foot okay. away from my face. Is that good? Is that better? I just moved the overhead light a bit. I'm gonna move it up a little bit higher because it's breaking his eyes. It's fine, unless you need to. How's that? Is that good lighting? Yep, it's all on his kind of stage left. Um, no, he's not moving. Yeah, no, he's got a he's got a thing that he's focused on. Okay, cool. All right, keep me posted. Bye bye. Okay, I think we are all set. There's probably going to be a little bit of difference that you might see because of the lag time. Um, we tried to create a little bit more shadow and um, get him, get the camera a little bit more in his face. So it looks really good, like the, the angle looks really, really good. Hopefully that's nice. good. We took, the, we took the camera up. If you guys saw, that that camera feels like it's uh, 18 inches from his face and it's actually touching. I'm pouring a, a Coke Zero into my cup. Um, and it's touching the chair that he's sitting in. I have it pushed all the tripod yeah. pushed all the way it against the chair. It's very invasive when it's that close. To you. Yeah. <laughs> it's and it's interesting because when you you feel like when it's up that close, it couldn't possibly be showing all of your head that it's showing it is. like part of your nose. And um, but it's it's there. We are uh, way better behaved this week than we were last week. We certainly are. Sorry, crunch. can hear you. Where's he the mic? Goes. Right here. Mm. Like literally Nancy right can in front hear of them. All right, I'm putting it off to the side. <laughs> what we I'm eating. Draw, we okay. have to draw a line somewhere. <laughs> Welcome to my home. Bada bean, bada boom. This is nutrition recommended. Yes, by, by Brittany Cermak of Your Life Nutrition. And uh, they're delicious. So let me tell you what I'm eating. We, we are out of crunchy kettle chips, which I was eating last week from Costco. And this week we're eating healthy. Bada bean, bada boom. Seven grams of protein. These are broad beans, which are, in the words of uh, Hannibal Lecter, 
fava beans. Are they the same bean? Yeah, they're the same oh, okay. bean. But these are crunchy fava beans, 100 calories for a bag, and a lot of protein. And so that's what I'm eating. And I was thinking that I could bring my healthy behavior to the Friday Night Portraits. But apparently good. I'm too they, crunchy. You, they are definitely I'm going to step into the other room and I'm going to crunch in the kitchen That's and I'll be idea. right back. So, and those particular beans came in three different flavors. They came in just nice and salted and they came in a sweet sriracha, which I did not enjoy. And then the other one was barbecue, which I don't normally go for barbecue snacks, but those are really well done. And for being a bean, a dried bean snack, I'm very, very impressed with them. And they come professional recommended. So I'm, I'm trying to do business here and making sure people know what's going on. You're distracting me. I know, I came back in the room and I had my mouth closed and a whole mouth full of beans because I just popped oh, them all in. Could you hear them? No, that was quiet when that, I came that back That was in. much quieter, yes. I bought them on Amazon. Got this heavy package that came in and inside that bag was a few things and one was, it was a 24 pack of the Bada, what did I say, Bada, Bada Bean, Bada Boom? B A D A Bean, and then B A D A Boom. I think twenty-four packs, twenty-four pack of snacks was like seventeen or eighteen dollars. It's a little expensive, but I, unfortunately, yeah. Dietitian approved. Yeah, that, that's that is hard. Is Wally with us today? Yeah. Is he there? Nancy says yes. She says yes, I can hear you, and it would not be Friday night if we did not hear you crunch. I am mortified. <laughs> That's all you. <laughs> I, I think that there, there, Listen, there's, like, I, there's I, a bar. There is a bar <laughs> of, of um, the live streaming and, and dialogue, and I think crunching is, is below the bar. <laughs> I see where you're going there, and that's why I love you, with your Irish expression-ism. Oh. That, the, the smile on her face, have you ever seen like Alfred E. Newman on Mad Magazine? He had this giant smile and had these like huge dimples. Like her smile is so big right now. And Nancy, I do not disagree with you. I probably shouldn't be crunching. But it wouldn't be Friday nights had it not crunched in your ear just a little bit. Um, last week I popped a can of hard cider in your ear and, and I, the kettle chips are way worse, I think. I, but, probably yes, because they're a different fragile crunch, whereas a bean is more, the dried bean is a more solid crunch, so. Yeah, for use, kind of for, for use yes. with the sensitive sound syndrome can describe the different crunches. I cannot. I cannot discern between That's okay. crunches, by the way. My nose doesn't smell that well. My ears don't hear that well. Oops. Oh, I should probably actually get yeah, sign on here. Yeah, you should. <laughs> going to be fun meeting everybody. I am hoping that it's it's like like we're in a countdown to live again. Yeah, being social. And Nancy like, says I miss humans and you all are it. Like we are incredibly human, that's for sure. We embody the good and the bad. <laughs> What's that Rob Zombie song? Humanity. More human than human. Oh. Are you who's listening to Rob Zombie tonight? Probably. Probably I'm nobody. Not enough that I, I wouldn't have been able to pick that out, which I should. So we've got 17. We've, we've usually, as we've been breaking up into these two poses, it's usually been kind of splitting and about 20 people um, sign off the first right? pose. And then 20 people come on and, and draw again. Come and, yeah, work live with us and put up with us. And um <laughs> then uh, we, we're just so amazed at how many people jump on during the week 
or I would imagine there's a few people that that might hit the. Um, oh, oh, look how cute YouTube. you are! Oh, like the yeah. intro. Oh, I, 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 I kept, did you see that? Glim I caught glimpses of it. Yes. Uh, um, she was giving us uh, intro vogue. Oh, this is a good pose. This is a good one. Yeah. I'm just saying it's the, the right I mean, angle and the lighting is yeah, good. Yeah, Drake, Drake's pose looks good. Roger yeah. is just signing on now, so he's just catching up to the rest of us as far as what the what Drake actually looks like. And he is, I mean, you're right, he and, and Rowan are very similar in their ability. Like, other than an occasional blink, you can't tell that he's live. He's doing a good job. Oh, I'm, I'm finally... Oh, did you see that Nancy said she doesn't really care if I crunch? Yeah. You you failed to, to mention that. <laughs> I didn't Now that, that I signed one. on, I saw I that comment. Thank you, Nancy, for the, the support. I was responding to Jim Stormack. <laughs> so Jim I didn't notice that um, that Nancy said that. I'm just... I'm going to ignore that. <laughs> Nancy, I'm so glad that you're with us tonight. <laughs> Oh, so we're at about eight nineteen. Back up, and oh, that's probably see, like good. us boys, we don't wear pants, so we crunch in the microphone. That's just what we do. I know, but if we're going to be international, we probably shouldn't crunch into the microphone. <laughs> international. That's like Doctor Evil. Exactly. And the reason why she's saying international because we have a couple of folks, but our we have never met her, but we message and we mention her all the time because Carol. she's Carol yeah and her stunning she she does her not always but often the portraits that she posts are um, actual makeup eyeshadow and she and eyeshadow and she uses a, a brush and kind of paints with the, the eye it, it's just incredible it yeah and it's it's and beautiful so Carol, Carol's a great artist. She's also a makeup artist. And if you have ever been on a film shoot or a, I think she has film shoots primarily, but I think at, at times she'll do like live shoots for a broadcast or something like that, mm -hmm. TV or, or news, something like that. Yeah. And so they'll be sitting in the makeup chair, which is usually kind of a larger captain's chair like a foldable captain's chair or whatever yeah. and and once the the model's out they'll sit down and they'll they'll do portraits on their on their legs Cause of each other of hurry, up and wait. Hurry, hurry up and wait. wait hurry up and wait and so instead yeah. of just sitting there doing nothing she does these makeup brush eyeshadow portraits which is so cool and now she's translating them to a two-dimensional surface which is really cool and so she's shared that and so you are right. We are international. Yeah. Not we, uh, Beth and I. This is the, the and oh, by the way, I know that we had mentioned last week, but we haven't not yet mentioned this week that uh, Idea Stream oh, did yeah. a great article last week. They showed some photos of. Um, they interviewed Tim. Interviewed Tim. His studio. Mm-hmm. And talked about how. Um, we and, and Tim, how we've been able to help Tim maintain the continuity of the pretentious Cleveland portrait artists. But the, the, reason, the, the reason why I brought that up was mm -hmm. because, first of all, the pretentious portrait artists are not pretentious. It was, I think, uh, I kind of like the idea that somewhere along the line, somebody called them pretentious, so they just kind of embraced that, uh, yeah. that in jest. Yep. But originally they were... The pretentious Tremont artists. That's right. Yep. And then they grew outside of Tremont and they became the pretentious Cleveland portrait artists. Mm -hmm. And now after COVID, there's people all over the United States and so Maybe the pretentious American. The pretentious, yeah, American. But like but Carol changes all that. Well, so yeah. now it may just be the pretentious world <laughs> portrait artists. But he even said in the article that he no, still wants yeah, to we're Cleveland. Cleveland based. We're, we're Cleveland, Cleveland based. based. It's, it's all about that's, Cleveland. That's our epicenter. And for those who aren't in Cleveland, we've got folks joining in from, I think, uh, 
Bob is in Cincinnati. He has family joining in from elsewhere. We've got some uh, folks coming in from Kentucky, from Portland. And uh, um, we got folks all over yeah, signing in. Pennsylvania. Yins in Pennsylvania. Yins. <laughs> Depends on what part of Pennsylvania. I don't think all of Pennsylvania does the yins. I don't know. I don't know that my... Everybody that I know from Pennsylvania says, says yin. yins. I'll but, of to, course, everybody I, I know is from Pittsburgh. I don't know my uncle. Okay, I know my uncle bumped in last week. Because I had have, I have a lot of family in Pennsylvania. And I don't remember them saying yins. But, of course, I was younger and I may not have noticed it but I think it's the southeast is the yin's part and I had more northeast no I'm sorry southwest seems to be the yin's and I had more northeast and middle Pennsylvania and I don't know if they I don't remember hearing the yin's as much I'll have to ask I'll have to ask my aunt if, she, if her family says yin's but we had a lot in New Jersey too and I would say with all loving, husbandly respect, that's and it's very surprising because your back is actually touching the back of your chair, it's and you sh- oh, it's not. Yeah, absolutely, it's not. So you you heard <laughs> you heard that tone in her voice, which it makes my point. My point is is that the 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 Ryan side and the boss. Boss. That's what I said. That side, they don't put their backs on the backs of chairs. They sit up straight. Like I, I mentioned last week. That was more my, my mom's side of the I mean, my dad's side point. of the family doesn't slouch, but my mom's side of the family, like my grandma, who you did not meet, um, was short, like Caitlin was and is. And um, she, she was and, 90 years old. And, and, and she, could, and she could draw, portrait. she could paint a portrait with a book on her head. Yes. And, and so could Beth, and so could her family. And so my Pittsburgh, still working, yin saying family. Which there's nothing wrong with saying there's not, yins. There's nothing, I, I absolutely yeah. embrace that. Uh, the yinziness. The yinziness. <laughs> what I do not embrace, sorry Pittsburgh fans, is the Pittsburgh Steelers. No. I mean, I guess the Browns aren't winning. They're, well, I, they're I don't know that I'm really still rooting for the Pittsburgh Steelers, but. No. Um, but but I do embrace everything else about Pennsylvania and well certainly the Pittsburgh area. Oh, by the way, have you guys been to Mattress Factory, the Andy Warhol Museum? Beth and I, we uh, we spend some we spend some time in Pittsburgh if we could uh, break away and just the recharge. Mattress, the the Mattress Factory was very interesting. Um, all modern art installations. Um, so I'm sure it's different now than it was when we were there, uh, but it was really, really well done. And the Andy Warhol Museum was uh, good. I mean, it was, it's a great museum. Um, it was very interesting for me because I've never really been a Warhol fan. Pop art is not a genre that I've ever really been drawn to, um, but I did en- enjoy seeing it. And I really, really loved the section that they had of his artwork prior to fame jumping into the pop art. Oh, and and his old sketches and his old notebooks and and seeing what he was capable of pre um, pop art, and so I really enjoyed kind of those two sides of him and being able to see them next to each other in the museum. I don't know that it, and it still didn't make me a fan, um, but it, it certainly made me more interested in him at that point and enjoyed that a lot. Um, and then we... Well, it was, so we highly recommend the, the Pittsburgh oh, and yeah. that cultural district. The, the city is clean. It feels safe. The food was good. Mm-hmm. Um, we just jumped in a taxi and had them drop us off there in the museum area. We, what was that little crazy, Tom, the Tom Museum? The Tom House. Tom the Tom Museum. House. Yeah, so we were at the mattress factory and we asked them, we said, okay, where else should we go? And we're assuming that the people- It was Tom Museum is what it was the called. The Tom Museum. And it was this 
crazy, right down the street, like you literally walked just from the mattress factory down to the Tom Museum. And it's just a house. This is like little That's been turned into gallery. an art yeah. museum. And it is definitely not ADA accept, accessible. We loved it. And we absolutely loved it. There were a couple corners that we turned in the house. And I was pretty sure that like Jason or Freddie was going to pop out. Oh, I thought you said there were a corner that you and I as a couple were able to sneak off to. Oh, no. That's no. a couple co- corner? No. Didn't well, what, did you, what were you meaning? A couple, oh, a couple corners. A couple corners that we turned that I was, that looked like a serial killer was going to like oh. pop out. Um, and See, my brain was elsewhere. Yeah, apparently. <laughs> Have you guys heard of couple corners? Stop. Um, so that was weird. It was weird. It was good weird, but it was weird. Um, we had really good food. I'm trying to remember. Anyway, we like Pittsburgh. We love going to Pennsylvania. We went spelunking in the uh, um, the Laurel, Laurel Caverns. The Laurel Caverns. Yep. And um, it was down not, not too far from Ohio Pile. Mm-hmm. And we stayed at the Summit Museum. The Summit Inn. Ho- Summit Inn, Summit Hotel. That that yes, which which is um, the oldest. I, I don't know if it's east of the Mississippi. I'd have to Google it, but it's the oldest original hotel still standing from it, that area, and and it was a huge when cars were a thing, and people just get in the car and just drive, and then go sit and drink lemonade and tea and whiskey on the porch of the Summit Inn. And then they'd drive back home, and then that was their day, and that was the big thing for their their weekend. The and the summit in the summit in could have been the backdrop of a horror movie. Oh, totally. I mean, yeah, they, they could have shot Night of the Living Dead at the summit in yeah, and, and did shining. a couple, yeah, or the Shining there. I mean, it, it yeah. was awesome. But um, that 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 aside, it was a great place for us to to stay in in mm-hmm. Pittsburgh. As you well know, is uh, a shorter drive than Columbus. We love Columbus too, which we just stayed at a few weeks ago. Mm-hmm. Right before we got shut down, we were able to um, hang out in Columbus for Valentine's Day. Yep. Went and saw the Mike Doty show, who was the former lead singer of Soul Coughing. Small venue. He was phenomenal. Um, oh, so a few weeks after that, I would have caught COVID so from him, or he would have caught COVID from me because we were close. less. Yeah, we were yeah. not socially distant. I mean, I was six foot from from yeah. there. Was that For, Scully's in Columbus? Oh yeah, great little venue. The food was decent, actually, which we were kind of surprised about. Um, so we enjoyed that our probably last concert for the year. We've already had, we've already received that the Dead Can Dance concert, which we were supposed to go to this week, got rescheduled to a week, or actually a year away, 2021. I think it's exactly the same date. Yeah. We're going up to Detroit to see that Dead Can Dance concert. Yeah. It has not officially been responded, but Beth is going to, her bottom lip is going to come out here when we believe that Alanis Morissette is going to be rescheduled. I've never seen her new concert and we were gonna double we date, had double date. With Teresa and Neil because Teresa and I both were just dying to be able to see her and um so do you guys I'm listen just, like really 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 hoping it gets rescheduled not just can't so it, if you guys listen to Neil Zaza phenomenal guitarist and friends of ours we've done some artwork and and shows together but um Beth and and, uh, and Teresa Rose, who's also a phenomenal performer, mm-hmm. we're starting to drop these internet and Facebook messages just going, <laughs> oh, we, wouldn't it be nice to see Alanis Morissette? And so Neil and I are texting in the background. Yep. And I'm like, should we pander to their... Um, the answer is always yes. And so, so needless to say, we did not respond to their Facebook text messages. We did not let on, but in their stockings were tickets to the Alanis Morissette concert. At Blossom. At Blossom. And it's going to be rescheduled, so we're so, so sorry. 
We believe it's going to be rescheduled. We're, we're assuming There's no way so. it's going to come. Even though it's an outdoor venue, we're assuming that that's going to be gone. And I'm a little heartbroken about it because I love, 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 love Alanis more so. Roger also does too. This wasn't, you know, like they're not, you and Neil weren't forcing yourselves to have to go see her. She's a phenomenal musician and artist, and you like Alanis too, but not with the same affinity that Teresa and I have. Back in the 90s, when Alanis Morissette was at her apex with Jagged Lil Pill and mm-hmm. kind of those, the follow up albums, Beth and Alanis looked exactly the same. <laughs> exactly the same. And so, what well, was even more ironic. <laughs> oh, no. What was even more ironic was that. She could really sing Alanis Morissette yeah. songs, and so not only did she look like Alanis, but then she could also sound like Alanis. And so back yeah, karaoke, karaoke, you were yep. nailing it. It's true. That's funny. Can't believe you did that. <laughs> Love it. Oh man. So and then I wanted to go see Cheryl Crow in June. Which Roger does not, so I was going to just buy two tickets and see who would come with me. Because Roger doesn't mind her, but he didn't want to spend an evening with her. And that's totally fine. And I'm I, sure, I haven't checked. I'm sure that that's canceled also. And then... I should get a chance to respond to that. There was something else. Why? I didn't say anything bad. You didn't say anything bad. Um, I happen to see Cheryl Crow for free on Earth Day in like 1990 something she's at the zoo I don't even remember were you there? no I remember you telling me about it yeah I repeat myself from time to time but um and she was talented yeah. and she is talented but she, as a live show she's I mean like if I mean, recently <laughs> watched Tiny Desk Concert NPR Tiny Desk concert, I'm, I'm not and she that. sounds great, but she's not as engaging visually. I mean, she just she just sits down and she sings her guitar and she's right on point. She sounds like she could bang out a live album right I there. The way you're saying it sounds a little bit disdainful. <laughs> I I understand your perspective. <laughs> And respect that. And that's why you don't have to go see her live if you don't want to. I'll take a friend if she ever comes back again because the concert is probably... She's not coming back. Not this year. Oh, no, not this year. That was my point. I meant, yeah, like next year. Next year will be the big concert year, apparently. Next year's going to be awesome. Everybody's going to take work off for like 362 days. To make up for this year. Talk about like the seventies hippie. Like next year is gonna be a hippie revival, I think. Like Grateful Dead and Great yeah, people are gonna be traveling around in, in the new Volkswagen buses. They're gonna be like unloading crazy oils and incenses that they're dipping during this COVID virus. People are painting and crocheting and knitting. Mm-hmm. They're gardening. They're gardening. <laughs> what, are, what are you trying to say? Um, Not that kind of gardening. I mean, probably that kind of gardening too. But just back to nature, back to basics. Back to basics. They're 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 making jewelry. They're doing all the things, and and all of a sudden, everything is cyclical. And people be able to hug again. And so it's going to be the the rebel. The what was it? I am lo- this pandemic has ruined my brain um so what was that time frame that was like the love revol- revolution peace love and I'm, I'm not sure where you're going else. there but yeah. but whatever it is peace love and uh um and hugs are i think is going to be in this rebound because we're all being forced six foot away once this whole thing passes and a um, I mean that's good because I like to hug the people that I love. I don't like it when people that I don't know necessarily hug me. So we're not talking about you. We're talking about society. 
Well, I know, but I'm gonna be out in society. <laughs> but we, we can't we can't uh, generalize from the specific. We're glad that we caught Drake smiling. It's first break. You guys take a break, Drake. You got uh, 15 minutes. Yeah. <laughs> So, thank you guys. We're, as you can see, as the night goes on, we get a little less, uh, um... Even Bob just agreed with the are you white? A little less professional here. <laughs> Alright, I'll, I'll sit down here. Although, let's give a couple seconds for people to draw the chair if they'd like. <laughs> can I see, wait, can I see the chair? Or is it, did we raise it too high? I mean, Drake is so uh... tall. Oh, no, yeah, yeah, there's not there's much no. to draw there. That's okay. You guys could draw three inches on that chair, <laughs> if you'd like. Um, go refill your Cheetos. I think Wally's probably drinking some wine. I'm going to refill mine. That what are you drink. drinking tonight, Beth? Uh, bullet bourbon and diet. Oh, you're mixing the good bourbon with your diet? <laughs> because I can do that. <laughs> Don't mix my Elijah Craig with your diet. It's our, our Elijah Craig. That's what I was saying. Our bullet bourbon. So I can mix it with whatever I want. <laughs> Let me describe her movements. She, she's standing there. She is lovely. She's got a bandana tied around the top of her head. And then she was rolling her arms around in circles. And uh, all right, so all right, I'm going to sit down so we can talk you guys through. If I were to measure, this camera is 16 inches from his face. It is really close. But uh, I didn't realize we had two lights on the same side, but it works. Well, yeah. That's what I said, it works. Yeah. Well, I moved it over because Tim said there wasn't a, a shadow. Oh, there wasn't so a shadow. Oh, well, that makes sense. And. I would imagine that that ring light, which is right inside of right here in my face, is probably casting some rings on those glasses. So, hope you guys are doing well. We appreciate the fact that you're joining us. I know that there's a lot of folks that are joining this uh, this night for the very first time, and essentially what we're doing is we're just trying to hopefully inspire people to to pick up a pencil or to pick up a, a paintbrush, maybe pull out your chubby oil pastels um we are still waiting for a sculpture and i and i like to sculpt so maybe i'll pull out something and sculpt out of it maybe some masking tape and some newspaper or something um maybe create a fiberglass piece i don't know but whatever it is we appreciate the fact that you guys are joining us we are blessed to see all the work that you've created there on our table, which is right uh, right in this direction here, our dining room table, we have phenomenal work by amazing artists of all kinds of uh, experience, folks that have been drawing for months, some folks have been drawing for weeks, and then those folks have been drawing for decades, and it's amazing to see what you guys provide us. Oil, pastels, pencil, I draw with Sharpie and uh, some amazing work. Steve does Silver Point. Mm -hmm. I still don't even know what that is. I mean, I understand like what it means in words, but I want to see it. Yeah. And so hopefully when everybody gets out of their homes and we all meet live, <laughs> that... Uh, I thought one of the... <coughs> Sorry. That we can watch see. him doing it. I want to watch him do it, yeah. <laughs> yeah. And Steve has dropped by. He's stopped by here at our house. We live in North Royalton, but he's dropped by and dropped off some work. And we had a chance to, uh, Susan dropped off work and folks are dropping off work. You guys are amazing. And, and we really appreciate you bringing us into your circle, uh, allowing us to run, maybe join the tribe for, for a while, maybe permanently, and, uh, and just to connect. It's strange how this whole pandemic has forced us to be innovative and to turn on a camera and press the live button and to see what happens. And uh, um, we're happy that despite this challenge that we've made new, new connections. Yeah. Beth is 
What are you looking Absolutely. at? Absolutely. No, I was just agreeing. Oh, you're just agreeing? I thought you were What like, a, a blessing in, the, in something like this that we're like, oh, we're just going to take this time to make 40 new friends and get to see more than 40 new amazing artists and uh, to- what an unexpected blessing in this time. And I gotta find my cord because my laptop's about to die. All right. So as Beth is going in the other room to update her laptop, if you saw how many cords we had running through here, you'd, uh, it looks like spaghetti here on our floor. But we're, uh, we're happy that, that we're all together here on Friday nights. And, and if it has to be from afar, at least we can kind of pretend that we're close by commenting, by you guys listening to us patter. <laughs> uh, there's been a couple times I've, listen back and I'm like did I really say that Beth exhaled you can, <laughs> can hear her hear because me. we have we have a microphone I mean, here and we have a microphone me. back there <laughs> so <can't> hear me. <laughs> you can hear from afar what um what time did was it 9 30 ish so like five minutes like at yeah. nine let's say 9 45 we'll just make it if you're eastern center time yeah. at 9 45 and you're live we're gonna sit drink back down for the last sitting and we'll just pat her on in the background. Hopefully we're not too repetitive. Too late. <laughs> too late. Hopefully I'll pick some of that bada bean, bada boom out of my teeth here because I still have half a bag of crunchy snack. You can, nobody's preventing you from eating it. Once Drake sits back down, you could go I can go in the other room, close the door, and chop away. You don't think you have to close the door. It's not that loud. Just be in the kitchen. (laughs) It's It's so loud. So it's that social distancing. All right, so it's crunch distancing, which is like more than 25 feet. (laughs) Um, And yeah, we belabored that, but welcome to my life. She sticks her tongue out at me. But with that, um, again, we appreciate being able to, to run uh, in, a, in, a, in the same swim lane as, as your folks have been. We're really excited that a lot of folks have joined to join, uh, join here on Friday nights. There's a number of folks that have joined over on the Tuesday at 7 page. Again, the Tuesday at 7, I, I know it's confusing, um, but Tuesday at 7, Eastern Standard Time is a once a week creative show. Who knows what we bring at you. This coming week, uh, we're gonna have Dr. Julie Massimo, clinical psychologist, join us. Typically we're, we're talking to artists and we're doing demos and we're in studios and we're, um, we're doing some great things, but we thought it is important to talk about things we had a writer, a blogger, a few months ago, a, a friend of ours who is a, uh, we consider her a war writer, and she's battling stage four colon cancer. Um, she has inspired us, and she was talking about mm-hmm. not only what it's like to deal with that health challenge, but what it's like to um, prevent colon cancer. So that was kind of a, a Tuesday at seven, we want to make sure that people are healthy and, and thriving. We yep. talked a few weeks ago with a dietitian of the year. This is just, well, how do we focus on things like, what are we drinking? What are we eating? What are we snacking on? If this is, if you have the freshman 15, hopefully this isn't the COVID 15. Hopefully you guys are staying healthy, but we were having a fun conversation with Brittany Cermak. This coming Tuesday, we're going to have a fun conversation. It's going to be engaging. We hope you join. We hope that you share out because we artists can have our blue periods. Um, Van Gogh not excluded. And during that, we just want to make sure that folks can ask questions, understand, maybe uh, um, see some things that, or learn some things that they may see themselves or their loved ones that may be of importance. Uh, this isn't a, this is gonna be a boring, uh, give us a suicide hotline, number that scrolls across the bottom. That's not what this is, although we will cover that, certainly. But this is going to be an engaging uh, engaging interview on Tuesday. But until until then, we're drawing portraits, and we're excited about that. 
Um, Beth is multitasking uh, in front of me, oh, yeah. but uh, behind the camera. Mm -hmm. And she is also drawing at the same time. So she's I typing, she's drawing, she's talking, she's sipping, and she is um, engaging. Yep. And trying to, and yeah, the drawing, like, I still need to go back and, and redo Adam's because I was just, I had trouble with, with Delaney. Um, again, I'm just not experienced enough, and because she's young and, and just has a, a fresh, beautiful face, it was hard for me to draw her. Mm -hmm. And so I want to rework, and I had uh, some of the same issues with Adam, so I want to rework the portraits that I did with with her and Adam and then but when you get to somebody like my age like post 50 and you're like big fat gray beard <laughs> to figure out what the chin looks like sketching the glasses mm -hmm. figure out the hair I mean I'm an easy target I, yeah I was pretty pleased with the one that I did of, yeah. of yours and I was kind of surprised I was more pleased with the ones I did of Rowan than I was expecting I thought I was gonna have more trouble and maybe it's just because I've you know had her for 24 years so I'm familiar enough I don't I don't know I I did I liked hers better and maybe it was because it was more at the front end of the stay at home and so I was more on top yeah. of it um, I'm, I'm pretty content so far with the sketch that I have of, of Drake right. but talking and sketching at my novice level is not good <laughs> All right, so uh... Refill your beverage, fill up your snacks, uh, crunch your Cheetos, and we're gonna have Drake come sit back down. We've got to two minutes before we start our timer a second time. What are you listening to, Drake? Just anything. Oh, Sun you're just shuffle. Sun shuffle? Yeah. I'm just gonna get it. Here. Here. We didn't see it at all. Good. Don't remember. Uh, do you remember how we were sitting where you're... This feels about right to me. Okay. We're gonna click in here. Hopefully, what's, uh, it's kind of funny from our side, our side of things is that we, uh, hey, Luke? Yeah? You might let the bow out. I let him out just like, uh, 10 minutes ago. Oh, perfect. Okay. Yeah. Um, let him out again. What we are... He like clicks right back in place. It looks good, Drake. Just go ahead and, st and, and stick that stick that pose. Yeah, um, I totally. Yeah, like yeah, I have. Right into it. I have it lined up. Yeah. He's so systematic. Yeah. Systemic. I mean, yeah. Seriously, I used to have the best vocabulary, and they're like going away. All right. In one minute, we're gonna set our yep. alarm for our last thirty-minute sitting. And uh, and then we'll we're gonna jump right in. Hopefully, you guys are knocking out some phenomenal. Uh, we know you're knocking out some phenomenal oh. artwork because yeah. every single week you guys deliver some amazing stuff. And and I don't mean these decade long master artists. I'm talking about the people that have been working over months or just years. You guys mm -hmm. are providing some really great stuff and we love to see that. And, and I like the simplicity that's often being delivered. Yes, yeah, some of, some of the portraits that are just a few lines. And it's amazing what, what it's conjured up with, with even, even the warm up um, photos. Are, are stunning. Okay, it is 9.45. Yep, send it up. So I'm going to start us. This is our last 30 minutes for this Friday night in the second pose. And... Uh, you know what we haven't seen in a few weeks? Uh-uh. Like the first three-ish weeks, we saw some blind contour line drawing. Yeah. And it was people who are warming up just... For those many, most of the artists here know what a blind contour line drawing is, but for those folks that are joining in, people are not looking at their paper, they're eyeballing the model, and that they're just drawing one continuous line. And sometimes, though, that artwork is just so refreshing 
It is complete mm-hmm. reflex, and I love blind contour line drawings. I should probably do oh, some of that. That's I have idea. not done it's that in decades. Yep. De- decades. It's been decades since I've done that. There you go. Which means that probably my hand is not moving like I imagine it should be. I would certainly find out. We mentioned earlier, Drake is finishing up his junior year at Akron U. He's a cybersecurity major. Mm-hmm. Um, he was born with platinum blonde hair. I gave him a haircut at two weeks old because it was hanging over his eyes and over his ears. And and we should say that you were also platinum blonde baby. Believe it or not, yeah, I had blonde so, hair up until I was quite high schoolish. I wasn't as light as him. Yeah, it's funny because he was blonde, Kate, uh, Rowan was blonde, and Delaney was blonde. Delaney, the, 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 Rowan's hair has gotten darker. But she was she was pretty light, but she was never as light as Drake. I would say she was as light as, as Delaney was when she was a baby. Um, Delaney Delaney her. goes she goes into back and forth, but she's coloring her hair dark. And so, yeah. when you, for those of you who worked on Delaney's, she she colored it dark. Yeah, but her she's a darker blonde yeah. than she ever was, and then Rowan's one even darker than yeah. that. I'll be curious to see how that changes. Nature versus nurture. You guys will also see that Drake shed that collared shirt. Is not not onto a t-shirt. He is wearing pajama bottoms. I mean, yeah, why not? Why not? He's finishing up his kind of his last few weeks of the semester. He's been remote for months, and when you're a, a cybersecurity major, I mean. Well, yeah. I stopped being able to help them with math when he was in like the third grade. But <laughs> the uh, the point is this: is that like I have no idea <laughs> like he's what what he's working on. I just know that he's working long hours, and so kind of a, a proud dad as he's really chunking out. It feels like fourteen hours of work a day mm-hmm. trying to get through the semester. But at least we're on to our last sitting. I don't, why is it that I can't see these live comments? I don't know. Wait, That's wait, strange. I'm gonna. Oh, it says hide comments. Are you in? Unhide comments. I'm on the. T- well, maybe I'm not the two. Oh, that's my issue. I just need to think about what I'm doing here. It's hard when you're. Talking and doing, and it, it gives you a new um, appreciation for people who broadcast and actually. Oh, uh, the cover photo! I mentioned this earlier. The cover photo with uh, with Brian. Oh yeah. I love that photo. Yep. Brian, I hope you do a drawing of you drawing from. <laughs> that would be kind of cool. It's like a double mirror. Oh, recent photos. Mm-hmm. Yeah, these recent photos look great. Thank you guys for sharing these. Let, let me encourage you in this. Is not only art is your artwork motivating mm-hmm. to me, but there are hundreds of of people who watch this silently who are drawing and practicing each week from all over all, not, not only Ohio but all over the United States and people who are clicking in from a couple other uh, couple other countries as well who are looking at your work who are looking at the um, your studio spaces who are listening to your advice and 
starting their journey as portrait artists and for that we are grateful. The sound hasn't gone out. Beth is drawing. <laughs> I'm scrolling. I work so big. Trying to sketch. My high school art teacher, Diane Ballas, she's mm -hmm. still out there somewhere. She signs on. She doesn't, I can't, she should draw. Yeah. But Diane Ballas, in my high school years, this was the 80s. I graduated high school and college in the 80s, but her advice was to work big and we work big and I learned in those early years just to to draw big and so my work is you know what I may work bigger than any other artist here like my work is big but it's too big for me to sit here in the dining room yeah manage the laptop and draw so I don't draw live what I do is after we save the uh the second sitting, I usually will go over to the living room, mm -hmm. grab a giant piece of paper, get, grab my drawing pad, grab my ebony pencil, my white charcoal, and a giant Sharpie, and spend uh, spend a 45 minutes or so on a pose or, or two, and just work big. trying to work a little bit bigger. The, the, the drawings that I did of you and um, Rowan were much smaller and then I that, and that may be part of the problem with the drawings that I did of um, Adam and Delaney because I tried to go bigger and I just don't have the skill to capture the the different uh, the movements and the corners and the shadows of the faces yet in that size. I think I figured out what my issue is. Yeah. Well, my issue here on Friday nights. <laughs> you said it. My sense. issue is when I go to the Tuesday 7 group, mm -hmm. which is where most people are commenting on and what I keep trying to get into right it's not giving me the same live feed as yours because I'm also live streaming from my phone from my same account so I've got my phone live I've got my laptop live from the Roger Miller account and it doesn't show the same that explains so I am a whole lot yeah I'm not uh, doing a blind contour line drawing, but I'm working blindly here, nonetheless. So maybe I should just close this because I'm not I'm not really live. I'm like I didn't think delayed, about that. and I'm looking at old comments. That makes sense. I didn't think about that. Anyway, I think that's my issue. My only issue, by the way. <laughs> Your modesty is showing again. My foot bumped the camera. Hope they didn't move it a lot. All right. I think so. This Tuesday. I'm right by the. I didn't realize I was right by this microphone. <laughs> I didn't realize I was right by this microphone. But yes. Um. This Tuesday, mm -hmm. we're going to interview with uh, Dr. Julie Massimo. The following Tuesday, I think I have something up my sleeve. So so. Let me how, tell you how Tuesday 7 works. We had like eight weeks booked out prior. 
And after this COVID-19 occurred, we kind of, Have yeah, we, we didn't even reschedule. We just told folks, hey, after this thing clears up, we'll be back face to face. We'll bring some captain chairs. We'll sit down in your studio. We'll talk about great things. We had to put off some phenomenal artists. Um, and what we did is we went remote to studios and artists and, and such outside of Ohio. We were in Dallas, Texas, Atlanta, Georgia, Tampa, Florida were our last three weeks. But I'm thinking that we do a portrait drawing special effects um, oh, right. mashup we mix in some illustration and cartooning maybe Ted Sikora mm. that, that we mash up like three four things on Tuesday seven the week after sure and so Fun. let's let's just plan that okay so not this week, we'll, but the week we'll, after, we'll Tuesday. How we're gonna how that's gonna work? Yeah. Uh, so not this week, but the week after, we're gonna mash up all those different art forms: um, graphic, illustration, um, cartooning, perhaps special effects, portrait drawing into that following Tuesday. Um, I don't have my calendar open, but it's not gonna be Tuesday. The not the fifth, fifth, but it's going to be a week after that. So, the 12th? yeah, I'm assuming that's the 12th. So on the 12th, May 12th, we're going to, Tuesday 7, we're going to mash all that. We're, we're going to have a fusion here. And hopefully the portrait drawers can join us that Tuesday at 7 o'clock Eastern Standard Time. We're going to have a, a draw off and it'll be fun. And uh, um, there's not going to be a two hour sitting. It's going to be short poses. It's going to be more than portrait. It's going to the Murray Hill life drawing. You guys want us to join us that night too because it's going to be fun. But uh, the model is going to be one or two unexpected looks. Looks. I think that's a that's a good way of putting it. I was when you're with somebody for. Uh, 13 years, they can complete your sentences for you. <laughs> I mean, we'll, we could do it, even if we haven't been 13 years. But <laughs> that's a very good idea. I like that. And we had talked about how interesting it would be to see um, a portrait drawing of a character and the different styles and interpretations of someone in some type of special effects makeup so all right so mark your smartphones put it on your google calendar i'm gonna walk to the kitchen to make sure that's the 12 because i'm almost positive i'm picturing in my mind yeah tuesday the 12th That'll be cool. 7 o'clock Eastern Standard Time. Then this whole Tuesday 7 is going to make sense to you. It's 7 o'clock on Tuesdays. Thus, Tuesday 7. We hope that you and your friends join that Tuesday at 7 Facebook group. It's okay. a Facebook group with benefits. Friends with benefits. And um, and if you've, if you've been a Tuesday at 7 member for a while you'll know that it's a uh, um, so what's a good word I hate to use the word try because it's overused try what? tribe oh tribe yeah I don't I agree it's, it's a it's and I don't want to say community because that's too generic but, I don't know but what, what, whatever it is it is a group of people that have creativity in common and um, I was part of a group in Medina it was led by Deb Sherrill who's a uh, who's a I call her an, an alchemist she does a lot of that pouring art pouring and she's really good at it and she's a 
uh, retired nurse and retired teacher, and she's really good at what she does. But I joined a Medina group a um, year and a half ago, and we did the artist's way. And if you've read that book or have participated in an artist way group, you realize that one of the, one of the things that they advocate is um, they advocate a few things. One of the things is they advocate morning journaling. Mm -hmm. You get up, mm -hmm. you dump three pages of writing on a page, and then you start your day. Whether you jump in the shower, pour your cup of coffee, whatever it is, they you get up, you grab your pen, you sit down in front of a uh, a notebook, and you journal longhand, ink pen longhand. The other thing that they advocate is kind of a uh, it's kind of one of those things where you agree to and you join, is that each week you have an artist date and it's a personal date where you set aside a personal time each week to kind of feed your creative self and to, to bring that in balance. And so unknowingly, Tuesday at seven, hopefully is a time that some artists are setting that time. Mm -hmm. Set your alarm. Yeah, I hadn't thought about that, that's very true. All of a sudden you have that weekly touch and every week is a different, a different challenge, interview, demonstration. We bring in film, music, Nutrition, glass blowing, metal sculpting, pretentious Cleveland portrait drawing, um, Cleveland horror show host, Mummy and the Monkey, which are going live just now. I saw them pop up. And we had circus life, mm -hmm. tattoo artists. And so if you were to look back, we have like 50, 54. Five or 50, 50 some episodes of so. of items, and uh, and we invite you to join that and invite your friends as well. Um, there's really no, I mean, it's all I'm trying to do is to unite creatives, I guess, and well, uh, and I would and engage. I would say it again. That's another word that's been terribly overused or oversimplified but what word is that engage oh, yeah. to to allow um, a connectivity that does not always exist between artistic groups you know the sculptors may not always have that that easy um, access to the painting group to the sketching group uh, to the special effects makeup group. I mean, there's always someone who is skilled in, in multiple uh, genres. But to have something like this that that lets lets us all just kind of check in and out and, and see different people with different interests in a more casual way um, and, and I think the artist's way, as you because I didn't do it, but as you talked about it, definitely did not try to hone in on any particular art. It was, it was very much about artist and not what kind of art are you creating, but just how to open yourself up and create the foundation to produce your art. And I'd say that's probably what you're doing with Tuesday at 7, too. Yeah, for sure. I, I describe Tuesday at 7 as a social experiment. That's how it was at the very beginning. Uh, so because we've got about 10 more minutes, <clears throat> I'm not going to give the long version, but here's a short version. Beth was a voice major at Akron U, and uh, we've been married. Our kids are growing, and so we're, we're kind of stretching back out into our individual cells. And a few years ago, she joined the Baldwin Wallace Women's mm -hmm. Chorale, Chorus. Yes. Phenomenal program. And so she joined, and every Tuesday night, she was at choir practice. She'd jump in a car, she'd drive off to Baldwin Wallace, and she'd sing for hours. Mm -hmm. And her angelic voice and the chorus would perform every few months. And so 
Uh, Tuesday nights I was free and the kids were at the age where they were either doing homework or there was nobody here and so I'm sitting around and Beth knows I don't sit around well Mm -hmm. and so what I did is I grabbed my phone one day and I jumped on Facebook and I pressed the live button not really knowing how it would work and I went live and I started doing some special effects demos and um, started interacting just live with a with that silo of art Mm -hmm. and um, it works beautifully yeah it surprisingly people watched it because I'm like okay so I'll get 30 views or 40 views during a week it'll be my friends and maybe my mom who will jump in and (laughs) and say you did a really good job son thank you smiley face and and but what happened was many people signed on and uh, so I just kept pressing the live button Beth is singing Tuesday nights at 7 o'clock I, it's my weekly artist date like I learned about on mm-hmm. artist way and so it, everything kind of aligned and I just kept pressing the live button and years later we're still pressing the live button on Tuesday nights at 7 o'clock Eastern Standard Time, people are still watching. Uh, we're doing interviews where, who knows what we're doing. Every Tuesday night is different, and, and with great purpose, it's different. It's working very well. And I mean, the, the more we do it, the and the more feedback we get, and, and interest, and kind of recognizing what connects with people, and I don't think there's anything been anything that hasn't connected but we're certainly enjoying seeing those things that really create a, uh, a, a hard interest and, and an excitement and um, kind of roll the more that's learned from that into each week that goes by and well, certainly learning from the, this collaboration. Well, it, it, it works so well. Ways. It works so well that we were we interviewed the pretentious Cleveland portrait artist, Tim Heron. Mm-hmm. Got to connect with his group. I know that Tim was one of many who started drawing 15 years ago at a bar probably in Tremont. And 15 years later, you're still drawing. And you're inspiring us. And, uh, and even though it's 2020, strange to say... We're pressing a smartphone, which is plugged into a power cord and to a microphone, and and we're drawing Our with people all over. Room. We're drawing with people all over the world. Yeah. And so, uh, that's, I guess that's the whole intent is to try to unite creatives, and uh, connect communities, and try to tear down silos so that the portrait artists know about the special effects artists who know about the filmmakers, who know about the metal sculptors, who know about the glass blowers, who know about the <sighs> circus performers, who know circus about the hunters, who know about the, I mean, the list goes on and on and on, 54 episodes deep. So um, we're grateful. We are very grateful and we're having a blast and we're glad that you're letting us enjoy it so much. And enjoying it along with us. How many more minutes left in this last sitting? Not many. Five minutes and thirty seconds. Wow. You know it's funny. And my, my weather thing just came up and said it was gonna be sixty nine degrees tomorrow in North Royalton. Who knows for how long it'll be sixty nine degrees, but we may not be in North Royalton. Well that's true. We may not be here. But But the what's funny, Drake don't move. <laughs> What's funny is this, is I was with Delaney yesterday, Mm -hmm. and she says, Drake is sitting, and she said, he's going to have a hard time sitting still. He's rocking He is like, like (laughs) statue-esque. You can tell who the siblings are. (laughs) All right, click back in there, Drake. We got five minutes left. (laughs) Anyways, he's like, Trouble than, than he did. You don't. All right. Let, you were let, very still. I'm let's not let's that let's reflect back to that week. It, but you did a great I, job. I, but I, you struggled with it mentally a bit more. 
I agree with you. You are absolutely correct, sweetheart. That was, was anybody else listening convinced by that? <laughs> She's going to sound like that. She'll play it back to me someday. You're absolutely right, sweetheart. You're absolutely right, sweetheart. You're absolutely right, sweetheart. But the, uh, but here's, here's my point. I'm mm-hmm. sitting in the chair. Mm-hmm. I can't sit still. And I'm clicking in. Mm-hmm. We light a candle. I'm like, I'm going to look at that flame. Then on the candle. I have this ring light. I'm wearing glasses, which then offer this like double layer of, I've got a reflection off my glasses. I've got, mm-hmm. it felt, I know you're going to look at me weird. Probably. Like an out of body experience. Oh, you did tell me that. Like after that first session, that first 30 minutes, it felt like I was, I'm not talking about like, not new age. I died and came to, and no, I'm not talking about that. I'm just talking about, it felt I hypnotic. Out. I zoned out and I was in an altered state. I mean, I could have given up a bad habit during that time. <laughs> Because I was, I did feel in a different state. I Well, and I remember, um, oh, cool, Julie. She says, uh, or Michelle, sorry, not Julie. Um, she says, thank you so much for offering this. It's awesome. Even my non-artist husband got in on the mix. So mm. thank you for joining us. We'll be here next Friday. So you can jump back in again, you and, and your Uncle Bob. And uh, bring your husband and your daughter. We appreciate it. Um, oh, next week I we're going to give marital advice. <laughs> you bring your husband. We're going to give you marital <laughs> advice. One of, one of the wait 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 wait. Go, when, go, no, go when you were talking about zoning out, you had had mentioned that, and I remember somebody else, a couple other people, confirmed that and said that they had had similar experiences when they had modeled too. So you're certainly not speaking out of. You know, left field with that. I think a lot of people ended up experiencing that when they model like that. So, first and foremost, we completely did not give any running feedback of like where, like we have been rambling, and mm-hmm. every week we're talking about things like lighter lights and darker darks, variation of line, mm-hmm. eyes are one eye apart. Mm-hmm. Outside of Luke, who is has really short hair, the eyes are about <laughs> in the middle of the head. Add, add the hair on top of the head. Eyes are about in the middle of the head. If you were to map it out. Um, oh yeah, Bob, Bob Polly, our artist from Cincinnati, said squinting. Oh yes. Allows you to kind of simplify shapes, and he does a great job of of producing and so I trust that I squint a little bit but right now I'm just, I grab my sharpie and my ebony pencil and I just throw it down to, I think. throw it down but um, squinting simplifying shapes and form is a uh, is a bit of advice that Bob Pauly gave us and thank you for that Bob if anybody else has, has advice for newcomers please enter it in the comments you don't have to be live you can enter it in the comments later because we're just adding to this list and we'll mention those next week. We're coming up to an end uh, as we're signing off. Uh, Beth, will you go into the to the hot seat for a moment to say goodbye to everybody? Sure. You know what we'll do is let, let, let's bring one last piece of artwork. Okay. Some artwork. We'll, we'll close with some, showing some artwork that, that uh, we looked at for the very first time today. Um, this artwork arrives to the house. Um, it's like Christmas. Every uh, week, Tim brings us Christmas. He's like Santa Well, it's, it's, Tim brings it. The artists bring it. We've gotten it in the mail. I mean, it's coming in from a bunch of different directions. But what happens is, is we don't open it up. I'm out. Drake, you're out. <laughs> thank Drake, you, thank Drake. you. You are awesome. Um, <laughs> so funny. So go ahead and sit down, Beth. Okay. And uh, yeah, let's let, let's uh, let's bring it back. Beth is. I might have to drop this tripod down. Yeah, look at all that space. We're not, we're only gonna talk here for a few minutes as we're signing off. Um, oh, that was really shaky.
Um, people seasick. Yeah, so the only reason why this is on top is because this is the first time we opened this up. Yeah, this we're not came... trying to single anybody out, which just kind of like when we receive it, we want people to get the accolades. And I know that Tim does a great job of posting it, but we're just so absolutely amazed with the, the work. Oh yeah, you posted this earlier, right? It, yeah, so I posted this. This is the work of Sarah Curry. Oh, this is, and this is the oil. I can smell it. I love it. And I mean, this is just so stunning. Stunning, stunning, stunning. And the reason why we're bringing this out, Beth, here, I'm going to hand you a couple others here. The reason why we're bringing this out is because when you see the scale, oh yeah, I mean, it's. It is what brings to life an image to this real life work. Just love it. The flowers on his shirt. I mean, the colors used for the shadowing and the flesh. This is our daughter. She doesn't live at home. She's engaged yeah. to be married. She looks a lot like you, by the way. Yeah, there's a little bit of a finger resemblance. My baby. Oh, so she thank you, Sarah. Correct. Yeah, thank you. Uh, folks, it's Friday night. You've uh, endured our antics and our rambling. We can't wait to meet you in person. Hopefully that's gonna happen sooner than later. Yeah. Our plan is to continue to put a face in front of you until things go live, and uh, and we're we're happy, we're blessed, we're uh, we're overwhelmed with what you guys have added to our family and yep. uh, and and the friendships that that we're creating, which is strangely remote. Yeah, but it's working, and we appreciate you giving us the opportunity. Tim, thank you so much for letting us work with you. We're so glad that this did work. And um, keep keep making and creating and, and keeping busy. And thank you for all of these opportunities. And enjoy the weather this weekend. Apparently it's going to be fabulous. I was so excited. And, um, and, and you know, there's, there is such a long list. If we were to... We got Olga, we've got Juan, we've got Steve, we got Brian, I mean, we've got Wally, we've got, yeah, and it, I mean, the list goes on and on and on, and we mentioned five that we see scrolling through, yeah. um, Bob, we see, and... We see everything, we, see, we love your comments, we, we see all the artwork that's posted, and we save all the photos, my laptop, my hard drive is probably going to be full soon. We're going to move it all to our brick. Well, yeah, that too. There you go. Yeah. Um, thank you, guys. Okay. Have a great weekend. Have a great week. We Oh, tune in this Tuesday. Tuesday at 7. Uh, join the Tuesday at 7 group if you're not part of it. And then next Friday, we'll see you again with uh, a fresh face. Bye.